University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, time once again to squeeze the student mind until we hear that satisfying sound of pip squeaking. At stake is the third place in the quarterfinals alongside Trinity College Cambridge and the University of Durham. Now, the team from Magdalen College, Oxford, are representing an institution that has taken the title of series champions on four previous occasions, a distinction they share only with Manchester University. Having said that, the team's first round match against Pembroke College, Cambridge, wasn't the pushover the final scores might suggest. Although they had 220 at the gong to their opponents 110, it was a close round match until well after the halfway stage when they pulled ahead by knowing about cantos, kinematics and coins featuring Winston Churchill. With an average age of 23, let's meet them again. Hello, I'm Harry Gillow. I'm from Stone in Staffordshire and I'm reading classics. Hi, I'm Chris Savory from Burgess Hill in West Sussex and I'm studying chemistry. This is their captain. Hello, my name's Hugh Binney. I live near Cheltenham in Gloucestershire and I'm also studying chemistry. Hello, I'm Cameron J. Quinn, originally from Los Angeles, California, and I read philosophy and French. Their opponents from the Open University lost their first round match against the University of Leicester, but returned with the highest losing score in round one to win their playoff against the London School of Economics. They were strong on computer technology, the letters X and Y, and being nasty, brutish and short. But despite their relative seniority in terms of age, the events of the 1390s had rather faded from their memory. Let's meet the Open University for the third time. Hello, my name's Danielle Gibney. I'm originally from Amsterdam in the Netherlands and I'm studying social sciences. Hello, I'm Stuart Taylor, originally from Stratford-upon-Avon, and I'm studying development management. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Lynn Jones from Bolton, and I'm studying history and languages. Hello, I'm Kate Law, I'm from Sutherland in the Scottish Highlands, and I'm studying engineering. <clears throat> OK, let's cut the cackle. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's the first starter for ten. Naturally, my birth almost kills my mother, for my head is too big. But soon it is I and not my mother on the critical list at Salford's Pendlebury Hospital. These words appear in the opening chapter of the 2013 autobiography of which performer? Open law. Morrissey. Morrissey is correct. <laughs> you get the first set of bonuses, then Open University, they're on poetry and the First World War. Does it matter, losing your sight? There's such splendid work for the blind. These are lines from a work of 1918 by which poet? Siegfried Sassoon? Correct. Killed in action in 1917, which author turned to poetry only after the First World War began and wrote over 140 poems within three years, including Lights Out, Tall Nettles and Adelstrop? That's uh, Edward Thomas. Edward Thomas. Edward Thomas? Edward Thomas. Correct. Dying of blood poisoning en route to Gallipoli in 1915, which poet wrote the collection 1914 and other poems? Is um, he didn't die until 1918. Okay. Okay. Rupert Brooke? Yeah. Rupert Brooke? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this starter question. Described as the greatest English novel by both Martin Amis and Julian Barnes, which 1872 work is subtitled A Study of... <laughs> Maudlin Quinn. Uh, Middlemarch. Correct. Right, your first bonuses, Maudlin, are on a historical figure, probably written in the early 14th century. Il Milioni is the name commonly given to an account of the voyages of which merchant and explorer? Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Correct. The former capital of the Southern Sung Dynasty, which city southwest of modern Shanghai did Marco Polo describe as, beyond dispute, the finest and the noblest in the world? Okay. So Guangdong. Guangdong. Do you think Guangdong? Yeah. Guangdong. No, it's Hangzhou. 
And finally, Marco Polo was imprisoned as a result of a skirmish between Genoa and which other Italian republic or city-state, the probable place of his birth? Venice. Correct. Ten points for this start of question. How many pairs of rabbits can be produced from a single pair in one year if it is assumed that every month each pair begets a new pair that from the second month becomes productive? Which 13th century Italian... Maudlin Binney. Fibonacci. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonus is this time are on operas by Wagner, Maudlin. Who's the title character of the opera whose characters include Henry the Fowler, King of Germany, Elsa of Brabant and her brother, Duke Godfrey? It was first performed in 1850. Who's the title character? So you want Siegfried or Lohengrin or... Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Actually, it'll be... What do you want? Lohengrin. Yeah, exactly. Lohengrin. Correct. Yeah. First performed in 1882, which opera's characters include the magician Klingsor, the former ruler Titurel, yeah. and Amfortus, the son yeah, of Titurel and ruler of the Kingdom of the Grail? Parsifal. Correct. In addition to the two title figures, which opera's characters include King Mark of Cornwall and the retainer Coenal? Its first performance was in 1865. Tristan and Isolde. Correct. Ten points for this starter question. Immanuel Kant's Critique of Pure Reason and Denis Diderot's Encyclopedia were both dedicated to which English philosopher born in 1561? His works include the Novum Organum and... Maudlin Quinn. Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon is right, yes. These bonuses, Maudlin, are on the solar system. In the context of spacecraft, which planet has been visited by Ulysses and saw Galileo end its mission? Does, I mean, Jupiter makes sense. Yeah. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. The Galileo spacecraft also visited which satellite, the second largest of Jupiter's four Galilean moons, believed to be largely undifferentiated mixture of rock and ice without sufficient warmth for the ice to melt fully. Could it be Europa, do you think? Maybe a Titan. Maybe Europa, I think Titan is probably the big one. Titan, Saturn, Titan. isn't it? Yeah. But Europa. No, it's Callisto. Yeah. And finally, in contrast, which of the Galilean moons, also visited by Galileo, is the most strongly heated by Jupiter's tides, Io. melting its rocks to generate volcanic activity? Io. Io is right. We're going to take a picture out now. Your picture starter, you'll see an extract from the opening of a well-known novel. For ten points, I want the title of the novel. Uh, open Law. Dracula. It is by Bram Stoker, yes. <laughs> so your bonuses are extracts from other epistolary literary works. Five points for each title you can identify. Firstly, this 18th century novel. Yeah, that's right. Unless it's um, um, Robinson Crusoe. No, it's Pamela by yeah. Samuel Richardson. <laughs> Secondly, this novel, which won the Man Booker Prize in 2008. No, no, it's no. much earlier. Yeah. Um, you say 2008? 2008, yeah. Sorry, no. That's The White Tiger by Aravind And finally, this novel, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 1983. Oh, um, that's uh, The Colour Purple, I think. Sorry, The Colour oh. Purple. Colour Purple. Oh, yeah, yes. The Colour Purple. Correct. Ten points for this. Who served as Secretary of State to James Monroe from 1817? In 1824, he was elected President by the House of Representatives, but lost to Andrew Jackson in the election of 1828. He's generally known by a three-word name to distinct... Maudlin Booney. John Quincy Adams. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses, Maudlin, are on European countries. The English name of which European country is an anagram of the first and last names of a star of When Harry Met Sally 
and Sleepless in Seattle. Hang on. So, Germany. Germany. Correct. The English name of which EU member state is spelt using all seven of the most frequently used letters in English and no others? Estonia. Estonia. Correct. Substitution of the second letter and the addition of an acute accent on the final letter transforms the name of which country into a noun meaning man engaged to be married? France. Yeah, France. Yes. Ten points for this. After a Scottish physicist born 1824, what two-word term denotes the variation in an object's refractive index that is proportional to the square of an applied electric field? Maudlin Quinn. Snell's Law. No, anyone want to buzz from Open? Open Gibney. Faraday Effect. No, it's the <laughs> Kerr Effect. Ten points for this. Many happy returns, a guide to your income tax problems, and Memoirs of a Mangy Lover are among publications by which comedian born in New York in 1890? For his stage and screen appearances, he frequently wore a grease paint moustache. Maudlin Quinn. Congratulations, Mike. Mike. Of course. Correct. <laughs> uh, Maudlin, your bonuses are on people born in the year 1875. In each case, identify the person from the description. Firstly, a German physician and missionary who established a pioneering hospital in Lambarini, now in Gabon, in 1913. Schweitzer. Nominate Quinn. Schweitzer. Albert Schweitzer's right. Secondly, a French mathematician noted for his work in set and measure theory. He developed a generalization of the Riemann integral that is named after him. Lebesgue. Yes, that's how it's spelled. It's normally pronounced Lebesgue. And finally, for five points, a Swiss psychiatrist whose works include psychological types and the psychology of the unconscious. Jung. Jung. Carl Jung is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Who is the title figure of a painting now in the National Gallery which was cut into pieces and dispersed after the artist's death? The surviving fragments were purchased and reassembled by Degas and it represents the death in 1867 of an Austrian archduke who, four years earlier, had been proclaimed Emperor of Mexico. Maudlin Savory. The death of Maximilian I. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Maudlin College, are on oh. Egypt. What was the Greek name of the capital of Upper Egypt under the 18th dynasty? It largely occupied an area on the eastern bank of the Nile, opposite the Valley of the Kings. Alexandria. Yeah. Yeah. Alexandria. No, it was Thebes. The great temple of the god Ammon and the smaller temple dedicated to Ammon's wife, Mut, are among the remains of which historical site on the northeastern part of the old city of Thebes? The Valley of the Kings. No, it's Karnak. Which modern-day city occupies the major part of the original site of Thebes to the southwest of Karnak? Is that, that, that could be, yeah. So. Alexandria? No, it's Luxor. Okay. Ten points for this. In physics, what term denotes a device in which a column of liquid is used to measure differences in pressure? Model in savoury. Barometer. No, you lose five points. Changing its initial letter gives the US spelling of the SI unit that is one billionth of a metre. Uh, open Gibney. Manometer. Correct. Right, Open University, this set of bonuses are on thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, what quantity is defined as the internal energy plus the pressure exerted on a system times the volume? Yeah. Daniel, any idea? No. 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 Sorry, no. It's the enthalpy. The thermodynamical quantity defined as the enthalpy minus the temperature times entropy is known as what? Uh, it's a Gibbs free energy. Nominate Gibney. Gibbs free energy. Yes, or Gibbs function, yes. The Gibbs free energy is the maximum quantity of work that can be extracted from a closed system. For what kind of process does this maximum occur? So, the process of the maximum extraction. Work. Is it entropy? No, it's, um, it's a completely 100% efficient process, something like that. 
nominate Gibney. Is it some like 100% efficient process? No, it's a reversible process. Right, we're going to mm. take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. For ten points, I simply want the name of the British composer primarily active in the 20th century. Maudlin Savory. Paul Williams. Yes, it is indeed, yes. Fantasia on a theme by Thomas Tallis. Fewer bonuses, three more Fantasias. In each case, I want the name of the composer, please. Firstly, for five, this English composer. Purcell. Purcell is right, it's his Fantasia for strings. Secondly, this Austrian composer. Come on, let's have an answer, please. Do you want Beethoven? No, that's Schubert's Fantasia Four Hands. And finally, a somewhat untypical piece by another Austrian composer. Brahms. No, it's Mozart's no, Fantasia it's in Mozart. D minor. Sorry. So, ten points for this starter question. From Greek roots, meaning rush down or break down, what word can mean both a headlong waterfall and an opaque condition? Maudlin Quinn. Cataract. Cataract is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on rivers. What name is shared by a river that meets the North Sea near Aberdeen? And a major Russian river that appears in the title of a novel by Mikhail Sholokhov. It's the Don, isn't it? Yeah, the Don. The Don. Correct. What name links the river that flows through Appleby in Westmoreland and the area that, according to the Book of Genesis, is the ultimate source of the rivers Tigris and Euphrates? Eden. Correct. Although pronounced differently, what name links rivers that flow through Blandford Forum in Dorset, Sudbury in Suffolk, and Canterbury in Kent? Can it be like Avon or something? Yeah, it could be. Is it, is, are those Avons? No, they're known as Star or Stur. Yeah. Ten points for this. Which Chinese dynasty was established when Heraclius was on the throne of the Byzantine Empire? It fell eight years after the death of Alfred the Great. Maudlin Booney. Song. Nope. Uh, Open Jones. Tang. Tang is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on bird anatomy. Also known as the ventriculus, which part of the digestive system of birds contains grit for breaking up food? Yes. Yeah. Is it Yeah, yes. Gizzard. Correct. What name is given to the enlarged pouch in the digestive system of many bird species that holds food before it enters the stomach? I think that's something like it. There's something called a crop. Or a, I think it's a crop. Crop? Correct. And finally, what name is given to the digestive tube also present in mammals of which the crop is an oversized part in birds? Yeah, yeah. Esophagus. Esophagus. Yeah. Esophagus. Yeah. Esophagus. Yeah. Yeah, Esophagus. Yes, or the gullet, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Listen carefully and answer as soon as your name is called. 143 is the smallest number that is the product of two different double-digit primes. 
What is the second smallest such number? Maudlin Binney. 181. Anyone like to buzz from the open? Open Taylor. 167. No, it's 187. Ten points for this starter question. From the French meaning an ornate style of couch or sofa popular during the reign of Louis XV, what term denotes a small piece of bread, toast or pastry with a safe... Maudlin Quinn. Canapé. Canapé is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Maudlin College, are on Australian cities. In each case, listen to the description and name both the city and the state in which it's situated. Firstly, the state capital named after the Queen Consort of King William IV. Is it Adelaide? What's the state? Adelaide in Queensland. Uh, no, it's Adelaide in South Australia. Uh, secondly, the Australian state capital named after the fourth Earl of Buckinghamshire, Secretary of State for the Colonies from 1801 to 1804. Uh, yeah. New, New South Wales. Okay. Uh, Sydney, New South Wales. No, it's Hobart and Tasmania. Yeah. And finally, the state capital named in 1837 after the British Prime Minister of the day. That's Maybe that's Melbourne. That's, yeah, 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 Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. What's Melbourne? Is that Queensland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Melbourne, Queensland. Your knowledge of Australian geography is terrible. No, it's Melbourne in Victoria, the capital of Victoria. Right, for your picture starter now in the second picture round, you're going to see a still from a film. For ten points, all you have to do is to name the film. Maudlin Savory. Metropolis. It is by Fritz Lang in 1947. So your picture bonuses are more stills from classics of German expressionist cinema. Five points for each <laughs> film you can identify. You can give the title in English or German. Firstly, for five. It's the cabinet of Dr Caligari. Yeah. Uh, nominate Quinn. The cabinet of Dr Caligari. Correct. And secondly. M. 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 Correct. And finally. Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Yeah. Correct, yes. <laughs> right, another starter question. The capital of Limburg province in the Netherlands. Which city... Open Gibney. Maastricht. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> right, your bonuses now are linked by a colour. The black paintings are a set of pictures originally created in the 1820s by which artist as murals in his house on the outskirts of Madrid? Goya. 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 Correct. The Mount Rushmore National Memorial is located in the Black Hills in which American state? South Dakota. South Dakota. Correct. The Black Tulip is a work of 1850 by which French writer? Alexandre Dumas. Alexandre Dumas. Correct. <laughs> the father, of course. So, another starter question. Born in 1810, the English journalist Howard Staunton gives his name to a design of pieces generally accepted... Maudlin Binney. Chess. Chess is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is this time, Maudlin, are on mathematics. What is the sum of the two roots of the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 12x plus 8 equals 0? Yes, we could have by 4, so that makes it x squared minus 3x plus 2. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One mm. and <laughs> minus minus three mm. minus two. Yes. Yep. Oh, his head's exploded. <laughs> <laughs> so minus one. No, it's three. Oh. <laughs> Secondly, what is the product of the two roots of the quadratic <laughs> equation seven x squared plus forty two x plus twenty eight <laughs> equals zero? <laughs> four, so that's the root. It's root twenty eight, isn't it? What? What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 7x28. 28. 28. 28? No, it's 4. And finally, a quadratic <laughs> equation has two roots whose sum is 5 and whose product is minus 24. What are the two roots? Uh, 8 and... No, eight, yeah, 8 and minus 3. 8 and minus 3. Well done, yes. Three minutes to go, ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. The year 500 million before present lies within which geological period? 
Open Taylor. The Cambrian. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Open University, are on Wales. In each case, identify the Welsh town or city from the description. The town on the River Taff, firstly, whose name literally means bridge by the earthen house. Mercer Tipful? No, it's Pontypridd. Mm -hmm. And secondly, give the English name of the port in northwest Wales, whose Welsh name means the Fort of St Cubby. Can I have it? Can I have it? Carnarvon? No, it's Hollyhead. Lastly, give the English name of the city, whose Welsh name means Mouth of the River Tor. Swansea. Correct. Ten points for this. What given name links the authors of the Malayan trilogy, the House of Silk, the Eustace Diamonds and the Prisoner of Zender? Open Gibney. Anthony. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Open University, are on European history. Which major European city was besieged by Ottoman forces in 1529 and 1683, both times unsuccessfully? <laughs> Mm. Venice? Mm. Yeah. Venice? No, it's Vienna. Which Sultan commanded the Ottoman army at the 1529 siege of Vienna? Yeah. We'll try Osman. Uh, no, it's Suleiman the Magnificent, the first. Which Polish ruler commanded the combined force that lifted the siege of Vienna in 1683? Stanislas? No, it's John the Third, John Sobieski. Right, another starter question. To the nearest whole degree, what is the bond angle in a water molecule? Maudlin Binney. 105 degrees. Nope. Open Gibney. 108. No, it's 104 degrees. It's 104.45. I asked for to the nearest whole number. Right, ten points for this. He could boast that he found Rome brick and left it. <laughs> Maudlin Giller. Augustus. Augustus is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is Maudlin College on God Save the Queen. Sung to the tune of God Save the Queen, the conga sangen is a royal anthem of which country? Liechtenstein. No, it's Norway. Mm -hmm. Sung at the inauguration of Barack Obama in 2009 and again in 2013, which my song was written to the tune of God Save the Queen by Samuel F. Smith country. in my the early 1830s? My country, tis of thee. Yes. Oben am Jungen Rhein, or Up the Young Rhein, is the national anthem of which principality? Yeah, yeah. Liechtenstein. Indeed. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> and after gone, the Open University of 130, Morgan College Oxford have 225. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, it's the end of the road for you, Open University, but you've been a fun team to have on board, and thank you for playing. Uh, Morden, another very strong performance from you. We shall look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. I hope you can join us next time. But until then, it's goodbye from the Open University. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Magdalen College, Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.